right, all right, all right. I love it. This next gentleman coming up, also a very, very funny man. You may have seen him on The Tonight Show, Johnny Carson. He was also on uh, Comic Strip Live and the HBO Young Comedian Special. Put your hands together for Mr. Fred Stoller. Yeah, did you see? I was on TV last week. I was on American Gladiators. <laughs> I'm Gemini, yeah. <laughs> uh, push me off the stage. Do the Powerball. Uh. No, I'm being a hypocrite, because I'm bringing this up. I hate when people bother me about being thin, and I'm starting you off. All the time, people are annoying. Oh, you're so skinny. Yeah, good. And they give me advice. Do you eat? <laughs> Oh, I never thought of that before, you know? <laughs> I'm not that good, though, when people come to me with their weight problems. This girl, she goes, oh, my legs are so fat. I don't know what to say. Well, no, they're in proportion to your arms. <laughs> now, in L.A., everyone's superficial. What, the Nautilus machine centers, the tanning saloons, the... the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. The lip biggest centers, this all stuff. Uh, not that New York's better, that's where I'm from. Like, that's the haven of truth. Um, no, I, I don't miss that either. I don't miss my family. Well, you, you know what my father's like? He's like Dustin Hoffman in the movie Rain Man, except he's not good in math. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so now I take this out. I want to explain something to you. So I, I moved out here, right? And I can't take it out. And uh, I, got, I, I, uh, I bought a car, right? So I don't care. And uh, I'm doing good enough. Uh, I'll stand there like a schlep. So uh, I, uh, there's this one mall, the Century Plaza Mall. Oh, it's that way. And uh, every time I park my car there, I can't find it. This is true. Last week, for a half hour, I'm walking around trying to find my car. But this other idiot is following me in his car, waiting for my spot. I said, I don't know, get out of here, you know? Uh, I don't need this pressure. Uh, I already feel like an idiot, I can't find my car. Uh, I don't need you following me three miles an hour, making me feel like a bigger idiot. I'm tired. He said, get in the car, and he drove me around. So, uh, it worked out, it worked out. But why go to the mall? Why do I go to the mall still? That's where the action is, the events, the people, the pulse. Uh, see, I'm a thrill seeker. I live on the edge. Yeah. You know what I'll do? I'll go to the deli, buy an apple. I'll eat it right there without washing it first. I don't care. Life's too short. I live for today. Nothing matters. So I'm at the mall, I'm on the escalator, I let go of the handrail. <laughs> and I put my arms up in here. I did it the top level. I'm on a rampage. <laughs> I'm out of control. I'm having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm out. I'm dressed up. I'm looking to meet. Yeah. I'll be honest, I currently don't have a girlfriend the last seven years. So. No, I do good. Would you stop? I meet women, I meet, but the circumstances aren't good. Like, I got this girl's phone number, except she lives two hours away from me. I said to my friend, if you were me, would you go two hours away for a date? He goes, well, if I were you, I would. <laughs> He's history. He's off speed dialing. He's not my friend anymore. <laughs> Get out of here. Another friend gives me advice, because you know when you meet a woman, a, a woman, like uh, there's a clump of them stuck together with Velcro, and you, you break off the ones you like in a different women form. So, because you know when you meet a, wo a woman, when you're not looking for it. When's that? <laughs> when I'm asleep, they're going to break into my apartment? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hi, I'm Debbie. You weren't looking for it. Here I am, you know. <laughs> Always looking for it. What else the hell is it to do? Every thought's connected to that frustration. Like, my uncle died, and I'm upset, but I'm thinking, maybe I'll meet someone at the funeral. <laughs> maybe a cousin. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I said that. I'm controversial. I'm like two live crew. I don't care. 
No, you know what's the worst with women? I called this girl up. Uh, Hi, it's Fred. She goes, oh, I can't talk. I'm on my way to the bank. It closes in 15 minutes. I knew she's lying with this phony excuse, but I can't accept it. So I want to prove her wrong, so I call her up in 10 minutes in a different voice. Hi, it's the bank. Where are you? <laughs> you like that? That was a different voice. <laughs> See, I do it all. I'm, a, I'm an entertainer. <laughs> I just do it all. Yep, yep. So the girl, I met this girl. I said, you want to go back to my place? She goes, you're not going to kill me, are you? What kind of a question is that? <laughs> like, if I am, I'm going to be honest about it. <laughs> I go, yeah, I don't know. I may kill you, I may not. I'm not sure. I'm kind of tired. I think I'll just wound you. <laughs> yeah. That got me mad asking her if I was going to kill her. She deserved to die just for asking me that, you know? <laughs> I said, look, I wasn't going to kill you, but now that you bring it up, it's not a bad idea. Well, I gotta go. The night's young for me, man. I'm out for more. I'm gonna go dance and I'm gonna do the Humpty. And, uh, I'm out, man. I'm gonna go... Yeah, you heard me right. I'm gonna go rent a movie. And I'm not gonna rewind it. So thank you very much. You were severe delight.